Perfect. Now let's test this out. Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars with Keith YouTube channel. Now on this video, we are getting a little bit nerdy on water filtration. That's something that people are going to be like, why is this guy doing this? This makes no sense. This is a waste of time. But to me, in the long run, for my OCD, for my hobby, I want to create things and make things better. And you can, uh, you know, lessen the amount of wear on your pressure washer by having less uh, solvents and chemicals in your water. Uh, your, you know, your chemicals and your soaps will mix better with the water. Uh, less water spotting, all kinds of benefits for this kind of stuff, especially for someone who does it all the time. And I found a cheap way to do this. It cost me about $55, $60 total materials to do this. Everything I used in this setup was for R&D, so I didn't know if things were not going to work or not, so I didn't want to buy expensive parts if it didn't work. I just needed to prove the concept. Then if we want to get better materials for our piping or whatever we're using, we can do that. So let's get right into it. So here it is. It's a two-stage system. These are individual whole house water filters. They're GE Smart Waters GXWH04F. These are about $19.99, I believe, about 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, the filters inside are like five, six dollars. Uh, they come in two packs, so I think it's like 10 or 11 bucks for the two. The brackets come with them, and the brackets with the larger hole and then the groove, so the gravity just kind of holds them in into the cart here. And then if you want to take them off, you can pop them off, no problem. Now these nuts and bolts here that are holding on are separate than what actually comes with the filtration systems. Uh, but what comes with it are our screws and anchors to put in walls and stuff like that. We basically set it up to where we could have quick disconnects on both sides. So if we wanted to just have it the way it is, it's quick disconnects. So we have our, our big one inch inlet here. We have our three quarter inch uh, water hose uh, brass shut off. The quick disconnect that goes with it as well, you have your three quarter inch to uh, water spigot style end, three quarter inch double male thread there, there, and there. Then you have another one of the spigot three quarter inch, another quick disconnect, and then another three quarter inch uh, fitting for the hose going out. Now each one of these will come with a wrench. So you have to tighten, it's basically like a wheel filter. You don't want it to be super tight, slightly more than hand tight. And I just recently used this so it does have water in it. And these use the 10 inch by two and a half inch water filters. So there are all kinds of brands out there. These are the ones that uh, kind of go with this. These are the carbon filters. So this is meant more for chlorines, chloramine, uh, pesticides, that kind of stuff to remove that out of the water. My water here is really good. The parts per million is like 50 or even less than 50. So most of the filters that would go into a system like this won't even take any more PPM out of the water. And that's why I run two carbon filters. Now, if you were to run this kind of filtration and you wanted to, and you had like 200, 300 parts per million uh, water coming out of your house or very hard water, you would want to run a sediment filter on this side. Something like this. Uh, this is basically a string wound sediment filter. There are pleated ones. Uh, the pleated ones don't uh, go as low in the microns of getting out the particles. I mean, there's so many different kinds, so many ways that you can just add on to this as well. As you get a car to have more spots on the side, I could add more water filters if I want. Just get another three quarter fitting. They'll spin together and it just works perfect. Now these last about three months. Now each water filter actually comes with like a, a magnetic little uh, alert thing here to basically press it and it basically just counts down like 90 days and then the light will pop up and let you know it's time to change them. I don't use this for this car because I'm only washing the car twice a week. This is meant for a whole house where the water is just constantly flowing. I'm not going to use anywhere near that. So I'm figuring this is more than enough for a season and then each season I'll just change the filters. But inside here there's a little notch. The uh, filter fits right over that little notch right there. And then you just make sure that filter is kind of centered. When you screw it in, it's going to guide itself in, no problem. And then, oil filter tight. And you're good to go. But that's basically the whole setup. Uh, it's two stage, like I said, I'm running carbon filters in both. And one of the reasons it's set the way it is, is so I can quick disconnect from here, and I can run it to here and have my deionization on this side. To have the water flow go directly through and be able to reutilize my hose reel from the pressure washer to spray the rinse on the car, the final rinse, and bypass the pressure washer because most deionization systems don't create enough flow to be able to use a pressure washer with it. 
we're going to test the water flow out of the pressure washer to make sure that we didn't lose any uh, gallons per minute flow rate to make sure that the filters, with the, especially with carbon filters, definitely slow water pressure down more. But these units are supposed to push out at a minimum of four gallons per minute, even upwards or close, I believe, to 20 gallons per minute. It's supposed to run a whole house where people are running multiple showers, dishwashers. So it's supposed to handle a lot of flow rate. So you gotta watch out when you're looking at some of these, cause some of like the under sink ones that filtrate a lot better, they can't handle that kind of flow. So the biggest test for me is, I know filters filter water. I don't I have to worry about that. And I already said the parts per million isn't gonna make a difference when I did my research, the parts per million didn't change. So I'm not even gonna do that test. My biggest test is to make sure that the amount of water flow in and out of the filters is enough to run my pressure washer and not degrade the current performance that I had before. So the best way to test that is we're gonna run the hose directly into the pressure washer, spray the bucket, see how much GPM that we get, and then we'll hook it up to water filtration, run it through and do the same as well. Just using a phone, a one minute timer, and a bucket with a measuring on it. So we're gonna connect our water to the pressure washer. Do undo this quick disconnect here. I have this strap right here to alleviate the pressure of the weight of this hose from the end of this filter. We'll run it over here. We already undid this hose. We'll quick connect that hose. Turn the water on. Turn the pressure washer on. Here we go. So we got our pressure gauge here. Our setup, we have a 3.5 uh, nozzle. And uh, normally it puts out a little bit over 900 PSI. We about 1.8 gallons per minute. So we we'll see what it is right now. We were hitting dead on 900 PSI, maybe 910. As you can see, just above the 1.75, about 1.8, maybe a little more than 1.8 gallons per minute. Well, that was exactly the numbers I was expecting and I've gotten before. So now we're gonna switch the systems. We're gonna get all of the pressure out of the pressure washer by turning off that water valve. <laughs> We're gonna move the quick disconnect back up over here. Like I said, I run it through here. Don't put any stress. Well, this is heavy. We're gonna run it this way just to show you how much water flow. You see, that's plenty of water flow. Now we connect it to the pressure washer. We're gonna run it through. Feed some water out to make sure we have no air. Perfect. Now let's test this out. Test two, same setup. The only difference is it's going through the water filters. Here we go. Let the water settle and as you can see, the same amount we lost no flow whatsoever, which was the test that we wanted. I already tested PPM and we already know that it didn't improve at all because my water's already good. But if you have much higher solids in your water, I would put a sediment filter in the first one and a carbon filter in the second one. This worked out great. I think we could put even three or four stages on this car and not lose water flow, which was my main goal. The only way to really know my water quality is with a water testing kit. And those are pretty expensive, but I'm thinking about investing one I'll let you know later. Well, those are great results. And that at least tells me that even if they're not doing anything at all, they're not hurting my water pressure. It's a nice looking thing on the car and some content uh, for YouTube here. But in the end, I know that they are cleaning the water and making it better. You're gonna need a water testing kit really to understand how much chlorine, chloramine, and all those kinds of things are taking out of the water. Cause ours aren't solids. Those won't show up on a TDS meter. Like I said before, when I did my research, the PPM meter, the TDS meter, which you would call it, it didn't remove anything. I think it was 49 and 49, between 45 and 50, which is really low. And I don't think those filters can take any more out. I know it's, it's making my water quality better. So we'll have to test that in the end. I'm gonna try some new water filters. The links to any of these products will be below. If you wanna try this setup out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey there, Internet Keith here and welcome. Hey there, any Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to another video on the Cars with Keeve. Hey there, Internet. Oh my God. 
Hey there, Internet Keith here. Welcome to another video. Now, I probably won't look. Now, I probably won't do that. It's gonna look cool and all, but the main reason. Oh my God. We have three three-quarter inch, uh, we have three three-quarter inch dual, we have three three-quarter inch, uh, we have three three-quarter inch threaded uh, mill, uh, three three-quarter inch um, 